so hopefully I'm going to be preaching to the crowd with uh, this manifesto, but I'm trying to get the word out. Uh, so basically, um, last year I was spending some time looking at Academia Stack Exchange, and I noticed an interesting problem, which is that people are surprised when scientific code is open. So here's an example where a guy is surprised that a reviewer actually wants to see the code running that he wants to publish in a paper which seems a bit odd. I mean, we peer review stuff. Why shouldn't you peer review the code? Um, and there's another example. Here is a closed source bit of software that is being used in science. There's a bug, and there's literally nothing that anyone can do about it. So they've identified that the results are wrong, and the company doesn't care. If it was open source, that could be fixed. But as it is, there's, the science is wrong, and there's nothing we can do about it, which is uh, somewhat disappointing. Um, and so if I sum those points up, we know that science requires peer review. I think that's something that's generally very comfortably agreed. Um, these days, science is very often computational. Not always, but there is a lot of computation in science. Um, and software also contains errors. So we really need to fix something here. Um, basically, we don't want our so science to be ending up wrong just because we have some closed source science that no one is peer reviewing, no one is verifying, and it just keeps on going on and on and on. So what I wanted to do um, was figure out how we could change things. So last year, I was actually strongly inspired by some of the things at Bosque, especially uh, Bastian encouraged me with uh, proposing a Mozilla session, fe uh, a festival, getting my tongue really tied here, a session at Mozilla Festival. And basically, a lot of people gathered together and we discussed how we could fix this. Uh, one of the ideas that we came up with to change the culture was to produce a manifesto. So just a set of statements saying that code is part of science and it's really important. We all deserve credit for it. Um, and if we can sign up to that and put our name behind it, maybe we can get some sort of critical mass and convince people that there should be policies, that journals should say, the code should be open, that funders should say, we won't fund you unless your code is open, and so on. Uh, and then earlier this year, at the Software Sustainability Institute's collaborations workshop, uh, we sat together at a hack day, three of us, and we wrote out some, some texts, basically stating these uh, concepts. So I will briefly introduce them to you now. Um, so it was inspired by manifestos like the Agile Manifesto, which I imagine quite a few of you have heard, show of hands. I'm curious. So not everyone. Uh, it's interesting. It's worth taking a look. You might not agree with everything that Agile is these days, but the manifesto itself is awesome. Um, but I'll run through some of the concepts that we came up with for the manifesto. So this isn't the full text. This is, these are just the headers. Uh, I very much encourage you to go to that link and read through the full text as well. Uh, but the first concept is quite simply open over closed. So scientific code should be open source. It should be peer reviewed. Um, the next concept, in, oh, <laughs> it's funny, I've got, this, um, I've got this leaflet with me and it's in a different order just to confuse me. So code for the future. Uh, that means follow good practices. That's things like documenting and commenting what you're doing, writing tests so that you can verify that what you're doing is correct even after you make changes to your code. Um, and incorrect code resu results in incorrect science, so we should have people peer reviewing it if possible. Now that's not easy. I do not have all the answers for how you manage peer review of code, like a million lines of, on a code base. That is a tricky, tricky thing. Um, but we can agree that it is important to at least verify good practices. Um, and next concept. Availability over perfection. So I think actually Tracy mentioned uh, this early, yesterday in the panel. Sometimes it's important to share what you have, even if you're not sure it's ready. And I need to speed up because I have a number one. Uh, so the final concept is that code deserves credit. This is one we probably all feel, that um, when we produce software, it should be a scientific output, uh, and that you should cite things, and that uh, you should be treated as doing proper science for writing software, not necessarily just papers and jumping through the hoops. Uh, so if that speaks to you, you can scan that, uh, go to the URL, and you can sign up and say, yes, I support this, either as an organization, if you represent an organization, or as yourself as well. Um, and I could also use volunteers. So if anyone wants to help out in any way, 
that will be really handy. We have some issues on GitHub. Um, I have a bunch of leaflets. Please come and take some of these off me so that I don't have to take them back with me because I have so many. Distribute them to other people and spread the word. Um, and, oh, well, quick credits. These are the people who helped me out. There's a bunch of GitHub people. I've highlighted uh, Bastian there and also Yimon who helped me create the poster. And thank you very much to the Software Sustainability Institute and the Mozilla Open Leaders, because without them, I would not be here today. So it has been a massive help. Thank you, everybody.